Welcome to this week's edition of the Falcon Report. This week is November 27th through December 1st. Let's go to our reporter in the field. Hi, my name is Addie. I'm with Maddie. Maddie, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a panda. Did you know that they have six fingers? That is so cool. Thank you, Maddie. Here's a skit to show how we can politely ask someone to stop when they get into our personal space by using the hand signal for stop and saying the word stop. I don't like that. Oh, your sweater is so soft. This is making me feel uncomfortable. Ooh la la. Please stop, I don't like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I made you feel uncomfortable. Here are our high flyers for creativity. In kindergarten, we have Benjamin and Gianna. In first grade, we have Norman and Vander. Second grade, we have Brody and Oliver and John John. Third grade, we have Davis and Millie. Fourth grade, we have Piper and Jacob. In fifth grade, we have Sam and Cole. Way to go, high flyers. We currently have 32,474 care cards. Our goal is 45,000. Keep up the good work, Falcons. Now I am with Ms. Renee. Ms. Renee, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'd be happy to. So we moved our family here to Draper, Utah about a year ago. I have three kids, aging from 14 to 20. And once we moved here, I was excited to get involved in the community. I applied for a position here at Spruce Wood and was joyfully uh, accepted. We, I'm working in the cafeteria um, with everybody from kindergarten up to fifth grade and offering math support. Thank you, Ms. Renee, and welcome to Spruce Wood. Thank you. Now we're with Mrs. Guyman. Hi, Falcons. You guys have been talking a lot about resilience in your Thrive Time lessons over the last month or so. So I wanted to talk a little bit about resilience again. Remember, resilience is our ability to bounce back when things get hard or difficult for us. So maybe we're feeling sad or frustrated about something, but we can always remember that the feeling won't last forever. Something that I like to do to help me with resilience and to bounce back after something sad or frustrating happens is the shoulder drop. The one that we've talked about before in your classes where we lift our shoulders up and let them drop. And as you're doing that, you can even say to yourself, I won't feel this way forever. I won't feel this way forever. And that can help us bounce back from hard things. Thank you, Mrs. Guyman. Here's what's happening at Spurswood this week. The game of the week is soccer, partner passing, and dribble practice. Friday morning at 8.45, there is a PTA meeting in the Kiva. Friday is our classic skate night. We hope you all can join us. Have a great week, Falcons. Thanks.